Alrighty, back at it. Everything is frosted over like crazy. You can see all this. It's pretty insane. It's, it's like uh, 10, 10 degrees out or so Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put, uh, I've got this box is full of traps. So I've got about, um, I don't even know, maybe a bunch of snares and then some 330 conibears. bears. I'm gonna kind of go to a new area try to get about 10 traps out today. We'll see if I can or not. I have seven and a half hours of daylight. So potentially gonna try a new setup with some chicken wire I saw in a YouTube video. So that uh, kind of make a pen out of chicken wire and then set the trap uh, in the opening. So I'm kind of excited to try that out. And uh, yeah, gonna get this loaded up and get out of here. Let's do it. A lot of frost. Hey guys, uh, another nice day in Alaska. I uh, sort of had a bit of a bust. I took off. I flew about an hour and a half, and um, or you know maybe not quite an hour and a half, but ended up uh, getting uh, on the other side of the Alaska Range, and it was just totally socked in. Uh, I couldn't see couldn't see the ground. Uh, I went about ten minutes and realized like literally everything I could see was socked socked in on that side, which is where I kind of wanted to set some traps. So I just decided to whip 180. Uh, I sort of want to, I've gotten quite a bit of feedback on, on the old YouTube uh, about a diff, diff, couple different uh, setups, techniques. And so I'm going to sw switch a couple of these around that I already have uh, and see if it has a better, better result. So um, I know that this one had some tracks uh, coming up to it and I'm going to try uh, setting it up with chicken wire. We'll see how that goes. And uh you know, I shaved the stash, so I'm kind of hoping that brings some more good mojo with it. Now that we got the first Wolverine uh, on on the um, on the board, uh, I shaved the stash and uh, for new beginnings. So hopefully we can uh, keep it going, repeat, uh, and maybe get a couple more. We'll see. Okay, experimenting with something new here. I've got a uh, chicken wire, four foot, four feet tall, and then the bait's just kind of wired in the middle. It's about 12 inches off. I've got some things to make sure they lift their head and try to go through there. And then uh, I'll probably brush it in a little bit more still, but uh, then I've got a wing and a snare. Uh, so I'm hoping this will just uh, bring them home. Should, uh, should be dynamite, I think. Okay, another refusal, but I'm curious what kind of tracks these are. So, I mean, they're gigantic. really really big whatever they are going up there yeah they, uh, came in looked at it i like the way this one's set doesn't appear to have gotten like any snow so pretty awesome but the baits kind of snuck snuck in there but uh nothing on this check so that's oh for two now but that's okay heading to the next spot it's a gorgeous day out all right here are all the goodies there's actually, I believe these are lynx tracks. So there's four toes. 
which uh, is a lynx, five toes is a wolverine. And there's some rabbit tracks right there. So, um, and actually, I don't know if you can make it out, but right under that tree, there's actually wolverine tracks that come across. So I think this is probably a pretty decent spot to just put a set. And uh, I'm gonna set up the old chicken wire set again and see if I can have any luck. I actually think this is a really cool spot because there's a, like almost, I mean, man, if I was an animal, this is where I'd want to come back here and hang out. So uh, it's pretty cool. Should should make for a really uh, money, just natural set. If that doesn't get your heart beating, you don't have a pulse. That is the money spot. So I've got a couple little sticks here to, uh, you know, keep his head up. But really, they'll be coming in with their head about 12 inches off the ground. And my hope is that they just kind of go right through that opening. That should be about about perfect. So uh, they'll be able to lock in on the bait and they can see that from outside of here too. I'll show you in the open. Golly, I'm getting destroyed by this pine tree here, but I'll kind of clean these trees up a little bit. Yeah, I can land right here. There's the bait. You can see it kind of with a pen. Really curious if this will work, but one thing, you know, they're visual, the links especially. So, I mean, he's gonna see that and boom, come in to investigate. and. It's in a pretty cool little spot. So the uh, video that I watched said that about 50% of them will actually climb the tree, come into the pen, and then get set on the way out. So uh, either way, I'd be happy with it. And I'm gonna put a snare up somewhere around here just in case, uh, catch him when he's uh, you know cautiously walking around and that would uh, do the trick too. So it's kind of a cool spot. It's like sort of in a little canyon. There's a creek that flows down here uh, so I think it'll be a pretty natural uh, funneling feature uh, for anything kind of cutting across from, you know, this side, trying to go to this side because this is sort of right where it pinches down. Um, but lots of tracks. I mean, there's tracks here, tra which are rabbit, lynx, and then right under that pine right over there are wolverine tracks. So there are definitely a lot of animals in this area, and hopefully this will do its duty. Okay, you can you can barely make it out, but I've got my snare set right there. So uh, there's kind of a little perch point up there. It seemed like there's a lot of tracks going that way. So I actually set it going up the backside. Um, but yeah, they get free rain if they come in here. Uh, I'm really excited about this spot. It looks awesome. So hopefully, uh, I mean, it'd be so cool to get a lynx. Um, that'd be that would be awesome. So we'll see. Uh, but this one took uh, 26 minutes from start to finish. So. From the time I dropped everything till the time uh, I'm heading back to the plane. So got to improve my efficiency a little bit, but it's a good set and hopefully can leave it here for uh, indefinitely. Okay, another one set. Let me get my shadow out of there, but you can see the bait back in there. This one's a sweet spot too. This one, uh, I've actually had at least two Wolverines come into this corner. I'll look at my bait and not take it. So. I'm pretty excited to get something, a little, just a little different presentation and see if this uh, has any different effect on it. We'll see. So uh, I got this set and then I've got a snare set uh, on the backside in case he's sneaking around. So we'll see. Okay, I landed here and pulled up and honestly, I thought I just missed something in the trap. I was a little disappointed, but wait a second. But wait, there's more. I think those are ermine is what they're called, but pizza money as my friend Taylor would say. So we'll get this one reset uh, and get out of here. I like it. He's gonna come on in. He's gonna be scoping. That's what he's gonna see. Big old piece of meat. He's gonna go on in for it, I know it. So it's another sweet spot. Gorgeous day, I got a boogie because I got about basically as long a flight as I have until it's sunset. So got to make some tracks and get out of here, but another gorgeous day out in Alaska. I got a, I think five or six pens set today. I'm not really sure, but, and then re-lured a bunch. But uh, yeah, that one should be, it's kind of a weird spot, but I know there's a lot of Wolverine that travel along this corridor and this is like pretty barren right here just goes way up into the jagged mountains. So my thought is, you know, if they come through here because it's so barren, there's not a whole lot for them to see. And wouldn't it be nice to just snag a good old meal right here? We'll find out.
Okay, not much to uh, show for the last day, but I got uh, back to Merrill, got her tied down, parked, got I think five or six new traps set, which I'm pretty excited about using that pen. And then uh, this was the ermine that I got in a Conibear 330, if you can believe that. So uh, they're actually kind of cool. They're, you know, they're not very big, but they've got like this black tail and then they're just pure white. So it's kind of, I don't know, kind of cool. Uh, I'd say it's got to be at least a triple X ermine if I've ever seen one before. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty exciting stuff. But I'm sort of wondering if uh, shaving the mustache was a bad idea. I might have lost my mojo. Um, uh, you know, unfortunately, it'll take a little while to grow back. But uh, I'm optimistic for these uh, five that I just put out. I, I, um, at least two of them are in just awesome spots. So the other th the two of them kind of like double dip on some of the traps that I already have set out that were up high in the tree that I had a couple of look at. So I kind of wanted to put them there just to uh, give it a little bit different presentation. And I think that bait's a little bit more appealing because it's so visible. Um, but then two of them are in new spots, uh, which, you know, I think actually have a pretty good chance, chance at a lynx. So that's kind of cool. And then I have snares set up, uh, at least one snare on each of them. So that's kind of sweet too. Uh, maybe you get like a double whammy if, uh, you know, multiple things come in, but a uh, pretty good day. Uh, it was a gorgeous day outside, just, you know, flying. So tomorrow I'm going to head out again, um, and kind of check a few more traps that I have set. And then, uh, but mainly I'm, there's, uh, probably like five or six spots that I really would like to get. Um, that I've just continuously been seeing tracks in. So even if there are no tracks there tomorrow, uh, I just know that they're in pretty good areas. So I'd like to get five pens set there. Uh, I'm just going all in on these pens and seeing if they work. Cause it, right now the bucket hanging up upside down in the tree doesn't to me seem like it, it hasn't really been working. Um, it's possible they're too high, but uh, I feel like I've probably had at least three animals, you know, come to the base of the tree look at it and, and just not not take it so um i i like the idea of having the the pen set up and then that way if you know if it's a fox or coyote or lynx you know even if it's not a wolverine um you know when it comes up to it it at least has a chance to to go for it and i got the belial trap so i think they're you know they have like zero tolerance where the bars touch so you know if something next you know gets its hand in there and gets caught it'll probably hold it you know, as long as I'm checking it about once a week. So uh, I'm excited for, uh, you know, probably, a, you know, in another week or so, I think it, it should be a, a pretty good chance to go and check the line. I thought I saw quite a few tracks today. So that was encouraging. It seemed like the animals were pretty active uh, the past week. So uh, encouraging to see, and they should just get more and more active as the weather starts to kind of warm up. We get a little bit more daylight uh, and they keep on moving. So uh, stay tuned tomorrow. I'll get some more, uh, some more action shots out there on the trap line.